how to increase 5 alpha reductase activity, how to increase 5 AR, how to boost DHT. Okay, so in this video, you will learn the best ways. Okay, so this is really the mighty enzyme, and without this enzyme, our lot of effort by increasing testosterone are missed. Okay, so without 5 alpha reductase enzyme, we don't get the right benefits and most benefits are connected with DHT, okay? So, and there is always a loop. 5-alpha reductase DHT. The higher the DHT, the better the 5-alpha reductase activity, okay? So, first of all, warning. What really blocks 5-alpha reductase activity, okay? So, uh, elevated inflammatory markers such as IL-6 or CRP have significant inhibitory effect on synthesis of DHT by inhibiting 5-alpha reductase, okay? Guys, I'm telling you, fix your gut issue, physio, physio uh, chronic inflammation, okay? So even small inflammation because it will have negative effect, okay? So many guys I work with, they fix gut, for example, and they improve testosterone synthesis, 5-alpha uh, reductase activity, okay? So don't underestimate this because no no herb no pill will fix this uh, uh, for um, why why would you just focus on uh, raising testosterone or something if you can uh, treat uh, underlying issue okay so uh, prolactin prolactin I always tell that prolactin is anti testosterone hormone okay so. Prolactin inhibits 5-alpha reductase. Not only that, it also inhibits uh, D2 receptors, dopamine receptors. Okay, so definitely it's not a good thing. I try to keep my prolactin low. In some guys, even if they keep their prolactin low, they they don't see this restart. Okay, so then you need to add something extra to boost 5-alpha uh, reductase because. Uh, Unfortunately, not everyone can be fixed with prolactin reset, but most of my clients have great uh, have great results with that. Okay, so for me, optimal value is below seven nanogram per milliliter prolactin. Okay, guys. So estrogen is also the most potent negative regulator of testosterone production. Okay, so and has inhibitory effect on 5-alpha reductase, okay? So you need to keep it in certain range. Optimal should be 20 to 25 nanograms per, uh, picograms per milliliter. Uh, guys, you need to understand there are studies. So uh, threshold for, for erection, for example, is like, I think, 35, okay? So if your estradiol is higher than that, okay, you will have really bad effect on your erection okay so PUFA okay your nutrition okay uh, soybean oil rapeseed oil sunflower oil potently inhibits 5 alpha reductase okay so olive oil is more like neutral okay in this case uh, butter uh, what else bone marrow all, all these kind of fats are good enough okay so the most important thing avoid 5-alpha reductase uh, blockers, okay, so cosmetic, shampoos, okay, uh, hair care, many of these have potent 5-alpha reductase blockers, okay, so I will try to put a link where you will find a list of 5-alpha reductase blockers, okay, so even the things you eat, pepper, curcumin, uh, rosemary, rosemary oil, and all these kind of things can have really bad effect. Okay, if your if your uh, DHT is through the roof, if your activity is extreme, if you eat uh, once upon a time rosemary or something like that, nothing will happen. Okay, but if you eat it daily, if your five alpha reductase activity is low, then you will have a problem. Okay, so I had one uh, one PFS uh, client, uh, for example. He liked pepper a lot, okay? So he was using a lot of pepper and every time he made a meal with a lot of pepper, uh, his condition really was bad, okay? So like mood swings and so on. And uh, even even uh, black pepper can be in higher amounts, 
can be really bad okay if for example if your five alpha reductase activity is low okay so good supplements okay so uh, as a supporting supplements is magnesium okay zinc b complex uh, my favorite is glycine i normally eat uh, broads uh, a lot of bone broads and so on so i get gelatin i get mostly from this source but you can you can supplement with glycine okay uh, glycine has been shown to increase 5 alpha reductase activity uh, act through nmda receptors okay but try to start uh, lower because some guys can have this like excitation effect from glycine but glycine is mostly good for increasing 5 alpha reductase enzyme in brain so instead of progesterone pregnenolone and so on try to use uh, glycine because it uh, creates allopregnenolone okay so can create allopregnenolone okay uh, also uh, doo -doo -doo. There are things like phosphat, uh, phosphat, uh, phosphatidylserine. If if uh, if you have higher stress, do blood test. Okay, before you take any supplements, consult with your health provider because uh, because you never know. Okay, if your cortisol is already no phosphatidylserine, will probably not the, will not do good, a lot of good things for you. Okay, so uh, everything that boosts DHT. Okay, so. DHT boosters by real boosters okay most of these supplements out there are completely garbage okay waste of your money you need to really find uh, good sources okay so if you need my help you will find a link for a coaching oxytocin guys oxytocin uh, will uh, boost uh, will boost uh, 5 alpha reductase activity okay we already talked about nmda activation nmda agonist increase 5 alpha reductase mrna and dht levels okay glycine is one of them okay so like i said increase dht and important thing important thing increase igf1 okay there are several great uh, things that can do this okay like i told you keep estrogen pretty low okay so zinc okay but don't do high amounts of zinc okay so calcium deglutarate uh, b complex okay so also dopamine indirectly can help because it will keep prolactin at bay okay and like i told you prolactin can handle really also can really have a bad effect okay so uh pssd pfs okay for example okay so they are not the same, but mechanism is similar because there is a blockage of 5 alpha reductase, but uh, done in different pathways. Okay, so and in uh, uh, PSSD, it is done via high prolactin that will block 5 alpha reductase activity. Okay, so increase dopamine uh, D2 re receptors and you will also uh, fight against uh, prolactin. Okay, so. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of uh, cable goalin and that kind of things. But if you need, you need. Okay. So, and also you need to increase NADPH because uh, it's a cofactor used in anabolic reaction as well as for 5 alpha reductase enzyme. Guys, if you like this video, hit, hit the like button, comment for algorithm, and tell me what you want to hear about.